Hi, in this video, I will show you a quick way to make flashcards out of your memory palace packs. In case you do not know about memory palace packs or memory palace technique, then I would recommend another video on my channel where you can learn about the memory palace technique in five minutes. So if you would have been working with memory palace technique for a while, then over a period of time, you would have a collection of memory palaces with uh, 20 to 25 pegs per memory palace. So if you have 10 memory palaces, your apartment, your school, your friend's house, if you would have 10 memory palaces like this with four rooms and five pegs per every room, then you would have around 20 pegs per memory palace. So just with 10 memory palaces, you would have up to 200 pegs. Now, you might be having this collection somewhere in your mind or on your computer like I do. So here you can see one of the folders in my computer. Just for demonstration purposes, I have kept 10 pegs, pictures of 10 pegs. Perhaps you have uh, the pegs in your mind, but I would recommend that now that every mobile phone is equipped with a camera that you take pictures of your pegs so that you can have those pictures for an immediate review and also after several years when the memory palace itself would have transformed but your pegs could stay intact in your computer's memory. These pictures here are from an apartment where I stayed for a short while. And from the time that I decided I need to take pictures of the memory palace packs identified in two rooms, it took me 10 minutes to make those pictures. This here is the overall picture of the room. And then I had identified and taken pictures of uh, five packs per room, starting with the door, light switch, couch, window and lamp. And then going into the second room and then again pegs in that room. Now here is the point. If you would put some conscious effort to identify the pegs in the room that you are sitting and spend some time to walk through those pegs physically, you will notice that it is very easy for your brain to remember those pegs and to remember the sequence of those pegs. The reason behind this, in short, is that our brains are very good at visual spatial memory. However, like other forms of memory, example, road repetition, the visual spatial memory is also subject to fading over a period of time. So if you have a collection of pegs, it is not only important to have those pegs captured in pictures and have them on your computer but it is also important that you periodically review those pegs. Perhaps you have to review more in the beginning and once the pegs are etched into your memory then the reviews can be over longer time durations. This is the purpose of the video to show you a quick way how to make flashcards out of your memory palace pegs so that you can review them very quickly. Let me show you four to five steps that you can take to create flashcards out of your memory palace pegs and then to review them. The first step is around the selection of the memory palace. I think we should try to find a memory palace which is unique in some way to the previous memory palaces that we might already have in our mind. The second step is once you have identified the memory palace which is unique in some way, you need to take the pictures. And this is how I would recommend you take the pictures. So you start with uh, taking the overall picture of the room. So in this case there are two rooms and if I zoom it, zoom a bit then you can see that I have taken a picture of the entire view of the room and then the pictures of the individual pegs. 
The third step is about how you rename the pictures file names. So of course your camera or mobile phone would have a certain scheme of naming your photo files. Once you have transferred them to the computer, I would suggest you rename your pegs in a sequence. So the room picture, the picture which has the overall room, you give it a number 00, zero and then the five pegs get the number from 1 to 5 and then you have the second room in your memory palace, the overall view again starts with 00, zero and then you have the five pegs from 1 to 5. The fourth step for the memory palace peg is actually to use PowerPoint feature of photo album to, to quickly create a photo album of your memory palace pegs and then use PowerPoint in presentation mode to review your pegs as and when you want to do so. So to make flashcards using PowerPoint, open your PowerPoint application. Now if you go to insert you will see this option of photo album. Just click this one, find your files and select all of them. So based on how you numbered your files, they are already in sequence. So all you need to do is check or select these photos. and then click create. You can give some title to your photo album and then you have in just a few clicks the photo album made by PowerPoint. And now you can switch to the presentation mode. Let me go from the beginning and then you can just press the down arrow key on your computer to make a quick review. And you should flash these pegs. Just go very quickly, flash these pegs and, and very quickly you would start having these pegs etched in your mind and it would be much easier and much faster when you need to use, use your memory palace pegs to remember a list of things or items. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, I would like to hear them. That's all for now. See you in next video.